expected that there are a lot of good news from the Tokmak direction. Here, Ukrainian forces continued conducting the counteroffensive operation and recently achieved significant results. The main goal of Ukrainians has changed since October, and currently the first priority is to widen the bridgehead, not deepen it. The reason behind the widening of the bridgehead lies in the topography of the region. If you look at the topographic map, we can see that the Ukrainian bridgehead is surrounded by tactical heights. In order to simplify holding of the ground, improve their logistical possibilities, and set conditions for future advancement southward, establishing control over the highlands is imperative. Since Russian forces launched their offensive operation in Avdiivka, the situation in this region became quite ambiguous, because both Russians and Ukrainians had quite a lot of forces here, and whoever would be forced to relocate them first would suffer territory losses. When it comes to Russians, instead of decreasing the number of troops on the contact line, they decided just to relocate the reserves to Avdiivka. Without reserves, Russians virtually lost their ability to conduct rotation, and it was just a matter of time until the exhaustion accumulated beyond the breaking point. This decision ensured that Russians did not face any consequences immediately, but set themselves up for a potential disaster in the medium to long term. When it comes to Ukrainians, they did two things. First of all, they did relocate some detachments to Avdiivka almost immediately, which is why the tempo of the offensive operation suffered in the short term. However, the remaining detachments were left with the reserves to continue conducting rotation. Secondly, Ukrainians decided to compensate for that by deploying some of the most skilled artillery and drone crews, because in Avdiivka Ukrainians needed a pure volume of artillery shells, while here Ukrainians needed precision the most. A Ukrainian fighter from the 24th Assault Brigade reported that since skilled artillery and drone crews arrived in the region, the situation became quite interesting. The first Ukrainian push happened north of Verbove. Russian sources reported that Ukrainian forces attacked Russian strong points north of Verbove and forced them to withdraw from the tactical heights. If we look at the topographic map, we can see that Ukrainians set out to establish full control over this ridge. Ukrainians already control the highest points in the region. The only difficulty right now is moving through the fields after rains. A Ukrainian analyst assessed the situation and concluded that the Russian airborne units will now have a much harder time defending Vorbove as the village is located in the lowlands. The second and the biggest Ukrainian breakthrough happened west of Robotone. Here Russian forces were controlling several extensive trench networks. The freshest update suggests that Ukrainians opened at least five vectors of attack. It is important to mention that Ukrainians advanced through the ambiguous area marked as a grey zone, confirming that Ukrainians controlled these fields. Russian sources published geolocated footage showing Russian forces striking Ukrainian positions immediately west of Robotone, indicating that Ukrainians successfully advanced and took control over the Romanian trenches on the highlands. Moreover, the tree lines north and south of these fortifications were also taken by Ukrainians, as recent footage shows an engagement around 1 km west of previous positions. The Russian command was not satisfied with the recent developments and reportedly ordered the airborne and motorized units to hold Kopany at all costs. But the biggest news is that Ukrainians conducted an insane night operation, sneaked into the underground barracks and killed dozens of Russian soldiers. After extremely graphic footage of the aftermath leaked into the media space, a Russian fighter posted a video with an explanation. He said that Ukrainians took advantage of the exhausted, understaffed and under-equipped Russian forces and conducted a night raid. He said that Russian soldiers did not have enough men on the watch, creating a lot of blind spots and risk. He also said that even those on the watch did not have night vision, while Ukrainians had. Moreover, Ukrainians also operated with silencers. As a result, Ukrainians quietly took out the whole guard, got into the underground barracks and just opened fire from machine guns at the sleeping soldiers, then threw several grenades and escaped. So hard decisions to relocate certain formations immediately paid off and Ukrainians gradually got the edge while Russian forces got exhausted. The ability to identify the weakest out of multiple locations in the Russian defense and leverage the newly captured locations also resulted in notable tactical gains. 
and the availability of better equipment relative to the enemy allowed Ukrainians to conduct insanely successful special operations. But being aware of what's happening in multiple locations is important not only on the fronts. Did you know that whenever you're making an online purchase, you are seeing high prices just because you're located in a medium or high income region? Fortunately, you can easily trick the websites and change your digital location to a lower income region and immediately get 15-25% to lower prices on the same products in the same store. By using Atlas VPN, you will be able to do that in just one click and save a lot of money each year. And while saving this money, you will be simultaneously supporting Ukraine. Because Atlas VPN's parent company donated 1 million euros to Ukraine to buy radars. They helped the crowdfunding campaign to reach more than 2 million euros in help for Ukraine. Right now, Atlas VPN is running the biggest discount of the year. By taking advantage of the Black Friday deal, you can subscribe for just $1.70 per month and receive 6 extra months for free. The Black Friday deal ends very soon, so be sure to click the link in the description right now and start using Atlas VPN already today.